It's another busy morning at Bracken's Kitchen, getting free meals ready for Betsy the food truck. Bill Bracken is a nationally renowned chef who spent 35 years working at the finest hotels and restaurants. Now, along with his many volunteers, he works to serve families in need. There's so much need in Orange County. You know, 48% of our school-aged children are on the government subsidized free and reduced meal plan. That's one out of two kids today won't have lunch without the government's help. So people don't realize that in Orange County. Bill comes from humble beginnings where he learned the importance of looking after one another. He started cooking at age 12. I grew up in a small town in Kansas. Uh, managed to uh, win a competition that took me to the Culinary Institute of America, a place I'd never heard of, and got out of culinary school and landed in luxury hotels where I worked for 25 years, Four Seasons, Peninsula, Beverly Hills, etc. He was enjoying life as one of the nation's top chefs. Then in 2009, things changed. The economy turned and the housing market crashed. I watched a lot of really good people lose their jobs and when there was no jobs and uh, men with wives at home who didn't work and newborn kids, just friends of mine, and just struggle to put a, f a meal on the table, stay in their homes, not lose their homes. Um, you know, it's a terrible time. Bill knew he was being called to use his culinary expertise to help others. He wanted to bring meals where they were needed. It wasn't long before he had a food truck parked in the driveway of his Fountain Valley home. It wasn't easy, but we're blessed to be here today. Plugged into my house, running my electricity bill through the roof and prepping on it, cooking on it, and doing everything and going out and feeding people. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody today? Today, he runs a commercial kitchen preparing thousands of nutritious hot meals. Ethan, I got you working on a bunch of salads today. We've got um, carrot, celery, and onions over there for you to do as well. We usually come in and, and we have a board over here that we have what all the things that we're going to make for the day. And your name's usually on one of them and then you just start diving in and cutting up vegetables or mixing up stew or packing food, whatever, whatever the need is for the day. Where does the food come from? That's another great story. Local companies donate surplus meat and produce that might otherwise go to waste. The USDA estimates nearly 40% of all food produced in the U.S. goes to landfills. I've always been fascinated with how do we take and get more efficient about all this food because our, our country produces much more food than we can use, so there's lots of waste. Every day, the kitchen creates recipes based on whatever has arrived. Each meal is high in protein and veggies. And while the goal is top nutrition, the result is downright delicious. We make sure that all meals are packed with healthy, nutritious items, mostly vegetables and then protein and starch. In addition to Betsy, other volunteers pack up meals in their own cars and vans to take to places like the Family Resource Centers in Huntington and Westminster. I retired a couple of years ago and um, I'm usually like to be busy so one of the things that uh, was of interest to me and and is such a big deal right now is how we're dealing with all this homelessness and now bracken's kitchen is taking on a new mission they're developing a culinary training program for people struggling to find jobs they'll receive valuable training as they make meals for others linda is helping to spearhead the program the food service industry is, you know, a huge industry and, and it has, like if you look at the labor market statistics, there's a lot of jobs in the food industry. So we're training people for actually an industry that's looking for, to hire people. It's evolved into something I certainly didn't imagine. I, I, I can't take credit for where we are today. It's just through the grace of God that we're here. And it's not just people in need on the receiving end of all that happens here at Bracken's Kitchen. The volunteers gain something as well. Oh, <laughs> We've had lots of amazing stories of volunteers coming in here just because they went through a rough patch you know, trying to find something meaningful to do and how it's changed our lives and the relationships we've built. You know, so whether it's a volunteer that we manage to help or the people we're feeding, that's really what, what we exist for, to help people. And you know, what I like to describe us as all the time is we're just a catering company. We just happen to cater to people who can't pay for their meals. If you'd like to volunteer or learn more about the mission of Bracken's Kitchen, go to brackenskitchen.com.